All right, well, I just wanted to just, like I normally do, talk through, and I know I don't need to, but I like to go through the directions with you for your math test. So math test 13 is what you're going to be taking. Um, and um, reading carefully when you are doing this. So section one, follow the signs. And I, I know you can do that. You know your tables. Um, you know how to add and subtract. So all of those, I should see a minus zero on that section easily, I think. That would be, I'd be very proud. Then section two, you're solving your story problems. Read those carefully. We've been going through story problems and making sure that if they have two steps, that you show those steps carefully in the workspace. That's one of the things I've been trying to really work with you to make sure to show how you find the answer. Don't just write the answer because you need to prove how it is. In math, that's one of the things that you do when you show it, it helps the teacher to be able to see where you got this idea from and what process you use to get there. So there's two steps, then make sure to use, to show those two steps, okay, how you figured that out. Um, so read carefully, read, read, read carefully. Then um, letter B, measurement. So look at that carefully, you're welcome. <laughs> Um, that, that you would figure that out anyway. Then section three, divide. And like I was telling you yesterday, if it tells you write the remainder as a fraction, then do so. And then you notice what do you not have to do? You don't have to check for these. So divide, write the remainder as a fraction and you do not need to check, okay? Then turn section four, you're dividing your money, okay? So you've got your money um, $37.17 divided by nine. And once again, what do you not have to do? You don't have to check. I know you're so excited, right? So that one is just dividing and you don't have to check again. Section five, round to the nearest dollar. You guys have been doing that for a while, so that should be an easy section. Section six, find the fractional part of each whole number. So some of you are still struggling a little bit with that. But remember, the fractional part of a whole number is a mixed number. There should be a whole number and a fraction. It's just like you were dividing, okay? And that's why when you first did these, they did a little division problem underneath to remind you this is, you know, this is what it is. We're just dividing. So think carefully through that, okay? Um, then section seven, write the Arabic numerals for these Roman numerals that are there. So think carefully. Most of you did okay on your, well, I just checked a couple pages yesterday um, with your Roman numerals, but some of you were still stuck on some of them. So um, review and study those carefully so you can write those correctly. Then reduce to lowest terms. Make sure to get the highest number so you can get the lowest term, okay? Some of you are very close, but you're like just, you could go lower, so just, check that carefully. And then section nine, all you're doing is writing the missing term for your multiplication. So pretty easy test. And I know you guys can kill it. And I want to be really proud of what you're going to get accomplished on that because it's going to be easy. You got this. Okay. Then your page, you know, when it's test day, the pages are fun. So you're finishing the number web and filling in. So 18 is your number. And then it's, times two and plus they're divided by three and 100 more. So you're just writing the answer of 18 with whatever. And then it says two add ends in one of those and two factors. So you're just gonna give two add ends that equal up equal to 18 or and two factors. What is a factor? Factor, factor, product. So two factors that the product will equal 18, okay? So there, that'll be pretty easy to do. Divided by two, divided by nine, and then Roman numeral, you're writing it as that. And then you're writing the missing terms for pretty much your 12, but also a little bit of 11 multiplication table. And then on the back, it says a dwarf planet is a heavenly body that orbits the sun, but does not have all the characteristics of a planet. Solve these problems and use the code that they have there to discover the names of the five dwarf planets. Remember to capitalize the first letter, OK? 
okay? So since it told you, if you hand this page to me and you don't capitalize, I will circle all of those and say, mm -mm, they're all wrong. And we're like, wait, what's wrong? It is, it is this one, it is this one, it is this one. No, so, so, so capitalize the first letter. All right, so have fun with that today and work hard on that, that test. Think carefully, you know those, they're like easy. So you are gonna do great on this test and I can't wait to see how well you do. And some of you got your bonus points on top of that. So this will be a great day for you. All right, I will be back later with more videos. See you, love ya.